when you're hungry. You cannot sleep, uh, you cannot do anything. So one night uh, I hear the American planes are coming to bomb. When that happens, uh, all the lights go out. And uh, I know if I do something and the lights will come on, you're, 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 you are surrounded with a, a fence and, and it was uh, uh, guards all, uh, all around you, watching you. And when the lights went out, I had an idea that I'm going to run to the kitchen. Maybe I could uh, steal a few potatoes. The problem was coming back. If the lights come on and they see you, there is no question as they will shoot you. But when you're hungry, you take all kinds of chances. Now I'm running back, I'm almost home. All of a sudden I got attacked by two, by three prisoners. They were just ready to go. They decided, why should we go and take a chance with our life? We're we going to take away, they were three and I had three potatoes. Each one is going to take away potato from me. When everything was over, not only did I lose the potatoes, I lost a shoe. They took away one of my shoes. And I said to myself, I'm going to go to work tomorrow. They said it's going to be raining or snow, snowing. I decided I'm going to cut off a piece of my blanket and wrap around uh, um, my foot. And that's how I went to work. And coming back, uh, the guard noticed uh, that I only have one shoe. He gave me, actually gave me a slip to go to the warehouse, get shoes. And I went there. And as younger the Nazi was, as more uh, he couldn't stand you. Uh, when it came my turn, I gave him the slip. He didn't ask you what size you want. He just gave you a pair of shoes. I went home and I tried them on. They were one size too small. So I figured I'm going to come back and tell him. And I came back and I said, could you give me one size bigger? He says, come closer. And come closer. When I was close enough to him, Instead of doing that, he slapped me in my face. That's the first time actually I saw stars, and he told me to go home. The next day, really, it was uh, snowing, and I couldn't keep up with the group. And uh, the guard who was watching us, he happened to be a middle-aged man, and they were not as bad. And he said to me, here are your two choices. I can uh, get uh, just with you, I had to be with the group. Either I shoot you, or take off uh, your shoes and put them on your shoulder. So the choice of this one was good, but I figured it's better to take my shoes off. So instead of walking, I was actually jumping, uh, my blood to circulate, and uh, they shouldn't freeze. And when I got to the de destination, uh, working a half a day till uh, 12 o'clock, and by jumping and working, I had an idea, I'm gonna look around, maybe there's somebody who's a small, boy and his shoes are too big and I did find somebody like that and we exchanged and he was happy and I was happy he had the shoes.